Hi there and welcome to Keyboard Skills Pro. My name is Tom, I'm a professional organist and welcome to the Grange Collection. Here we are playing this wonderful Compton organ today and I'm going to show you in this video, which is part of a whole series of theatre organ tutorials, how to play left hand counter melodies. If this is something you've never done, I'm going to show you some really simple hints and tips. Want to learn more? Come over the keys, let's play a theatre organ. <laughs> Okay, so here we go then at this wonderful Compton organ, and I'm going to show you how to play some counter melodies. Now, I'd just like to thank very much the Mechanical Music Trust and Jonathan Ling, the curator, for letting me use the Compton for this video. And uh, just to say, there are quite a few extraneous noises. We've got the blower unenclosed, um, the shutters are right in front of me, so apologise for some of the background noise, but hopefully, you're going to enjoy this video on counter melodies. Now, what is a counter melody? A counter melody is a second melody that sits beneath the main tune. So if we're playing the main tune up here, something a little bit like this. The counter melody would go underneath like this. And you can see it's complementing the main tune, but you can still hear the actual melody, in that case, the anniversary waltz. Now I'm going to show you three or four simple ways of doing first time counter melody work. The first one is really simple. Let's take a simple waltz pattern of pedal, chord, chord, pedal, chord, chord. Now what you basically do is you take the bottom note of your chord and you hold it down bringing it in on the first beat of the bar, imagine a bell coming down, dong, two, three, dong, two, three, and we're going to hold the lowest note of the chord. So here's the, this first example, C, A minor, F major, G major, here we go with the chord pattern. Nice and simple. Something a little bit like that. Here's our pattern for our example. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the lowest note, which is my bottom finger, on the chord. So this will be a G in my C chord. Then the A minor would be the A. The F would be the F note for the F chord. And the G would be the G chord. So notice that I'm going G, 2, 3, A, 2, 3, F, 2, 3, G, 2, 3, each time using the bottom finger. That then sounds like this. Now what you have to do is you have to bring that little finger in, in line with the pedal which is playing on the pedal board. Something a bit like this. And you can hear a counter melody. So depending on the song, it would then sound like this. So you can see there. Always the bottom note. Here in our example, C chord has the lowest note. In my version, it's the G. A minor, it's the A. And in F, it's the F note, this is the F major chord. Now you see, if you were playing your F chord like this, the A would carry on. And doesn't that sound fantastic? Really nice, simple counter melody. Now, if you're playing then a Broadway number, so something fast, you might be in two time, but again, you can just use that lowest note. Here's example two. So I'm holding it down, sometimes for many bars, because if you've got a, let's say, a, a whole sequence of C chords, you just hold it down like that. Now the thing is, what you've then got to understand is, you're using one of the notes of the chord. So the other two notes 
on your hand have to split apart and still carry on doing their thing. Okay, so I hope that is making sense. Now, another way of doing it is not to use the bottom note, but to use the top note. Let's have a look here at example three. Here's another waltz pattern. So I've got F chord, D minor seven, G minor seven, and C. So this time I'm gonna hold using my thumb the top note. So let's do an F chord. So it'd be A, C, F, and I'm gonna use the F, but so I use the A and the C as the chord note. So it's just the single note coming in with the pedal, dong, two, three. Imagine a bell, dong, two, three. Dong, two, three. Dong, two. Okay, so watch that again. D minor seven lot, I've got A, C, D left, so I just use the note at the top and then the notes that are left do the pa pa um pa pa now of course what you'll find is is that some of these chords will often have the same top note so of course there are much more advanced ways of doing counter melodies but this really is for people players who have never done this before and this makes a big difference because you then go from sounding like this to this Really lovely sounds. Now once you spend a bit of time getting used to those bottom notes and top notes, you can then mix them up. Now here we've got example three. This is in E flat uh, major, so I'm gonna do a little Latin. So I could hold E flat at the top. And then I'd use the top F for F minor seven. And then I could go to the bottom A flat for A flat six, and then the bottom for B flat seven. So you see, we're actually mixing them up. Let's try that in a swing rhythm. And that could be a little tune like this. Make some lovely sounds there using those counter melodies. So you can use the bottom note and hold it down and it's just the bottom note of the chord. So that could go like this. Use the top note. It takes a little time, by the way, to get used to your fingers working independently. So don't beat yourself up if you don't get it first time. I remember when I first started doing it, it took me a few weeks and months to get quite good at it. Now, in a future video, I'm gonna show you with an actual song arrangement, a proper written out counter melody. But do try that, the bottom note or the top note, or indeed mix them up. So once you get a bit more confident, you'll be able to choose them as you're going along. My sincere thanks for watching this video here today. Do check out some of my other videos here on Keyboard Skills Pro. And if you've liked it, please do hit the subscribe button and ping the little bell. That way you'll be notified of a new video. If you've really enjoyed it and think you've had some fantastic hints and tips here today, do consider a small donation to help me produce these videos via Patreon. All the details are below and all the examples we've talked about are in the description. There's a little PDF there that you can print out. Thanks ever so much for watching. My name is Tom Horton and thanks for watching another video here on Keyboard Skills Pro.